हेलो दिनो बाई गिविंग यू फर्स्ट ड्राइव इम्प्रेशन ऑफ द डीजल मैनुअल वेरियंट ऑफ द ऑल न्यू नेक्स ऑन फेस लिफ्ट दैट इज बिन जस्ट लॉन्च द सेंसेशनल लॉन्च अ कॉम्प्रेंसिव अपग्रेड दैट द नेक्स ऑन हैज ऑलवेज डिजर्व सो लेट्स नॉट वेस्ट एनी मोर टाइम लेट्स हॉप इन एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट ड्राइविंग दिस अमेजिंग क्लास लीडिंग सब कॉम्पैक्ट एस यू वी फ्रॉम द हाउस ऑफ टाटा दैट हैज पेव द वे एंड एक्चुअली मेड द वे वॉक द टॉक इन टर्म्स ऑफ एम्फोसाइजिंग सेफ्टी मोर देन एनीथिंग एल्स सो प्लीज डू वॉच माई डिटेल वॉक अराउंड फीचर to know about the updates and the upgrades they have offered as you can see the dash itself is completely new 10.25 inch floating uh, touch screen infotainment system nine speakers from uh, JBL including a subwoofer 10.25 inch instrument cluster a proper comprehensive update the flat bottom steering wheel two spoke steering wheel with illuminated logo with led light and an airbag incorporated inside is kind of a segment first or industry first you can say so no one has actually given an illuminated logo in the steering wheel and also offered an airbag so that is something you need to understand now talking about the power trains we have two power trains one is the 1.2 liter turbo petrol that puts out 120 ps of max power and 170 newton meters of max torque then you have the diesel power train the tried and tested 1.5 liter turbo diesel that puts out 115 ps of max power and 260 newton meters of max torque both of them come with amt transmissions automatic manual transmissions and both of them have their manual options this one is the 6 speed manual and uh, i've been driving it since morning this is just a drive impression beautiful uh, morning here in jaipur and thanks to Tata for hosting this first drive for us in the most lavish manner. So first impressions, the overall value package has actually gone up like crazy. I mean, uh, 360 degree camera, front and rear parking sensors, and uh, the display of that camera, especially if you have a look here, the resolution is top notch. So what I'll do now, say for instance I switch to reverse, you can see that you have dynamic guidelines. First thing. Secondly, you have a bird's eye view. You have 360 degree view immediately apparent in 2D. Then you can switch to 3D as well, and you can actually see the entire surrounding. Such that you can actually park your vehicle to precision with pinpoint precision without much of an issue. Here you have different camera angles. Have a look, complete diagonal, front diagonal, front view, rear view. Everything has been well taken care of. So that is something you need to understand. Very clear, crisp, vibrant display. The best display in the entire segment, or maybe ahead of it. This kind of clarity I haven't seen for a 360 degree view camera even in higher segment cars. So hats off to Tata for going the extra mile. So the diesel engine is a little noisy. You have that engine noise creeping in, but some people prefer it to be uh, kind of sporty. So it's how you take it. But I would uh, uh, prefer Tata to fine tune the engine further and uh, make it uh, in in terms of NVH levels they could. do a better job unless and until yeah it is kind of well managed but uh, they could have done a better job in fine tuning the engine and reducing the overall nvh levels when you are actually cruising through the streets you don't really feel it all that much but only when you are actually stepping on the gas see when you're gentle it's pretty easy on the go and then you have driving modes in the diesel as well Economy drive mode activated. Sport drive mode activated. So you have the sport drive mode which is the most engaging of the lot, understandably so. And uh, the throttle response is far more immediate. Suspension is good, ride quality is top notch as always with any Tata vehicle. 
steering feel and uh, the weight of the steering again is uh, well uh, calibrated you can say even at high speeds well honestly uh, now there's not too much of high speed uh, driving that i could manage because we're in the heart of the city uh, so i wish i can get my hands on it back home as well where i regularly do my top speed test or high speed uh, stability test but for now this thing is pretty decent in terms of driving dynamics in terms of suspension ride quality the steering feel suspension is brilliant the brakes are uh, good as well in terms of offering uh, good stopping power seats are nice and comfortable but as i keep saying the value package that they are packed into the uh, new nexon is what makes it an absolute stellar proposition 360 degree camera six airbags and you name it this one has it uh, nine speakers including a subwoofer uh, sunroof all led lighting sequential uh, led turn indicators so they've just given it everything that they could think of and uh, that is kind of a celebration of 50 lakh vehicles already being sold and uh, india's number one suv manufacturer is all set to extend their lead to a different dimension altogether so what do you think have you driven it feel free to drive it and share your feedback in the comment section what is your best standout feature of the new nexon feel free to comment below on what do you think about the design feel free to comment below and let me know this is just a first drive impression uh, driving through the streets of jaipur the royal streets of jaipur you can say man the kind of uh, welcome that we got at the devi ratna hotel is like truly overwhelming you have the air convents i mean the ac uh, controls are all touch except for the uh, fan speed and the uh, temperature control which are actually tactile uh, buttons we have very narrow lanes here so got to be very very careful can't perform those quick overtakes and uh, another good safety feature to have on board is the lane watch camera observe as i put the left turn indicator you can see the left camera being turned on uh the left rear view mirror and to eliminate any blind spot uh, whether anyone is trying to overtake me or not and then i can uh, you know make up my mind whether i want to perform that overtake or not similarly the right camera will turn on once you put on the right turn indicator and that will give you a clear view of whether any blind spot uh, uh vehicle is apparent or not and then you can perform those quick overtakes so this really eliminates blind spots and uh, makes things all the more safer and secure for you and your loved ones while traveling and uh, overall in terms of safety in terms of comfort the seating comfort is really good you have ventilated seats let me just turn them on it is getting hotter now as the day breaks in ha ah, the ventilated seats work amazingly well prevents you from sweaty backs and then of course the sunroof is amazing the sunroof is something that uh, you come expecting these days in almost uh, all vehicles in this price range and they haven't disappointed there maybe they can go ahead and offer a panoramic sunroof i'm not sure the gear throw is not it's not a short throw gearbox at the same time the gears are not too tall either so that is something you need to understand you can see lush green uh, hills up front beautiful beautiful location i wish we had more time because It's really really tight schedule for us to test two cars the diesel as well as the petrol so this kind of concludes my quick fire first drive impression i love the steering feel 
I love the uh, way they have built this. I love the way they have uh, packed in the value into this and the kind of features they have offered in this uh, facelifted Nexon. Man, just look at the view. It's just breathtaking. Uh, Awe-inspiring view. So when you're gentle on the throttle, there's not too much of noise apparent. They have done a good job uh, and also the body roll is uh, well controlled but it could have been better uh, as a driver you don't feel the body roll but the passengers do so I wish but then if they make it too stiff or too rigid it might hamper the comfort they had to work a balance between that so they've done that well is what I feel as I told you the steering feel is really really uh, confidence inspiring and the clutch travel is not too much the clutch is nice and light the throttle has a good feel to it the accelerator pedal so i feel they could have offered uh, aluminium pedals just to offer a better quality pedal feel and also the pedal travel uh, the way they have tuned it i think that or the way they have calibrated it i think that also could be fine-tuned to make it look or feel more premium that's something you need to uh, understand apart from that everything is absolutely bang on right on the money and well ahead of it you get more than what you can bargain for at this price point uh, and Tata have absolutely nailed it with uh, all the right kind of updates and upgrades that uh, the Nexon has rightly deserved so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. God bless and drive safe.